we have a bit of a situation. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look at this right here. I have a gap in my beard. I'm not sure how well you can see that. So I have that gap in my beard. Check the video before this, and that'll basically fill you in to how this came about. So now, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna take my beard from eight inches to one with this. Now I've had my beard since 2013 and it's gone through phases and stages to where I've had it down to probably around 10 to 12 inches and I've had it ah, probably to five or six when I've gone for a cleaned up look. But this will be the most drastic cut I've ever had. The most drastic trim I've ever had. So in on Instagram, I'm, I go by Dan's beard, and so uh, I'll probably have to change my name to Dan Scruff after this. But the good thing is, beards grow back, and I have some ideas for when it's growing back as far as projects that I want to do with it. Let's cut to the chase and get to trimming. Here we go. Actually, let me get a mirror. Let me get a mirror. Here we go. That is a whole lot of hair coming off right there. Look at that. I wonder if I can give this to Locks of Love. I, I'll have to double check on that. We'll see if we find any treats in the beard as well. Now I've thought about whether or not to keep this stash right here because this stash is it's pretty, it's quite substantial, but I think I'm just gonna do away with the stash as well and just let it all grow back at the same time. This feels so weird, I can actually feel my chin. Um, so that was, this is a one everywhere, or it's one inch, which is a, an eight on the attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a shorter attachment and start trimming up underneath my beard. I'm gonna bring it in, and what I'm gonna do is, as my beard grows back out, I'm gonna slowly um, let the neck line go down. So yeah, so when I was growing it out, if you guys didn't know, if you guys are growing your beards right now, I suggest keeping your neckline nice and trim, and as the front of your beard gets longer, slowly let the neckline go down. Now we're gonna take the guard off, and I'm gonna start with my neckline and clean this up right here. So, here we go. Grabbing my mirror. Hopefully you guys can see this and I'm not cutting you off. What I'm doing here is I'm just making a line going straight across with no guard on and then I'll just clean this up with a razor. This is crazy. You can actually see facial structure now, which is scary. And I might, so looking at my beard, I might bring my mustache in a little bit. I haven't yet decided. I'll probably go through the day with my mustache at this length to see how I feel about it. And also I'll see, I'll have to ask around and see what everyone else thinks. Even though it's my beard and it's my decision, I just wanna get some input. I'm gonna put the one back on and just go through this again. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put that eight attachment on, which is a number, it's a one inch. Eight attachment, one inch. And not the one, because that would be bad. You know what, I can already tell that, I can already tell the mustache is a bit overpowering. So I think I will take my eight attachment off and I'm gonna put a seven attachment on. 
because my mustache, it grows so fast anyways, it won't have any, there won't be any problem with it catching up with the rest of my beard. Seven attachment is going on. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. So there's a seven. And I'm just gonna take this over my mustache. There's really not that much of a difference. All right, we're gonna go to a six. Before we know, we're gonna do a no clip on my mustache. No, we won't do that. Okay. So we went from an eight on the mustache to a seven on the mustache, and now I'm going to be doing a six on the mustache. Starting to look, in, starting to look a little more clean. And to be safe, I think I'll probably stop right here for today with the six. There's that. Man, this, this feels so weird. So I'll probably trim around my lip right here with uh, scissors. And then I'll take a razor and just do a real quick clean. And I think this is where I'll stop for today. Because I don't want to get too carried away. I mean, I've taken about eight inches of beard length off my beard um, or seven uh, probably seven inches of um, beard length off of my beard so I don't want to do too much at one time I didn't think my beard struggle uh, scissors would ever really come in handy I would use them for my hair to clean up around my ears but I never thought I'd be using my scissors for something this drastic so the beard struggle scissors I don't know if you guys can see that right here. Beard struggle scissors, and we're gonna just clean up around my upper lip. It'll help with the protein shakes. That's the one nuisance with having a long mustache is I drink a lot of protein shakes and well, just protein shakes, coffee, whatever else, and it always gets on the mustache and you have to do one of these little swipes. I won't have to deal with that for a while. Let's see here. And we're just, I'm just bringing it up to the top of my lip line. Just nice and subtle. And I mean, some people they do it straight across, but I like to follow where my lip line actually goes. I mean, it makes it look somewhat more natural. Okay. So that'll do for now. I'm gonna get under here with a razor and just clean all that, all the scraggly hairs up. I haven't done this in a while. I mean, one of the cons about having the beard at this length is probably gonna be a lot more maintenance involved with keeping it clean and bringing my neckline down as this beard hair grows longer. I'm already thinking that I probably should bring my neckline up even more. But again, I don't want to do anything too drastic right now. Just in case it's not a wise decision. Here we are. I'll still need to clean up my neckline even better. Just I'm getting kind of annoyed. I hate shaving. But I'm going to have to get used to that for a little while longer while my beard grows back out. Okay, so under the neck is cleaned up. There are, however, a few things that I'll probably change. With this, I have it boxed off right now. I'll probably, I don't know, we'll see. I'll ride this one out, but I might take up the corners right here and make it more curved as opposed to boxy how it is right now. But like I said before, I don't want to do anything too drastic right now. So I'm going to keep it as is. And I use the six on my mustache. And so I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to clean this stuff under here with a six as well, just bring it a little shorter, but I'm gonna keep this right here, I'll keep this all in eight. So it'll be six right here, and eight in the, I guess the main portion of the beard, and then a six underneath, just to clean it up, and I think I cut my shell, cut myself. Skin's so sensitive under there now. All right, here we go. 
and I'm not going I'm not going up past the jawline with the six. Okay, so again, just finished up with the six underneath. I didn't go past the jawline. I just kind of curved it out at the jawline. So I did that all the way around. And now I will go ahead and line up my cheek line. 